Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In the bustling world of celebrity brands, few have captured the public's attention like Meghan Markle's Aro. Launched amid great fanfare, Aro promised a range of artisanal food products that emphasize quality and sustainability. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, positioned herself as a champion of healthy eating and ethical consumption, appealing to a demographic eager for authenticity in their food choices. However, this idyllic image began to unravel when a seemingly innocuous critique emerged from an unexpected source. Nacho, a food safety activist and blogger known for his passionate advocacy for consumer rights. Nacho, who had built a following by uncovering food safety violations across various brands, turned his attention to Aero's latest offering, a line of gourmet jams. With vibrant packaging and bold flavors, the jams were marketed as organic and made from locally sourced ingredients. The public was enamored, but Nacho's keen eye caught something troubling lurking beneath the surface. He began to investigate the production processes behind these jams, scrutinizing labeling practices and ingredient sourcing. What he uncovered would send shockwaves through the food industry and tarnish Megan's brand. As Nacho delved deeper, he discovered that Aro's jams contained additives that were not disclosed on the packaging. These additives, while common in many food products, raised significant questions about the brand's commitment to transparency. Furthermore, Nacho found evidence suggesting that the jams were produced in facilities that had previously faced scrutiny for unsanitary conditions. Determined to shed light on these issues, he meticulously documented his findings and prepared a comprehensive report to share with his followers. The day Nacho published his expose was a turning point. His well-researched video went viral, garnering millions of views within hours. Viewers were captivated not just by the scandal, but by Nacho's compelling narrative and his unwavering dedication to uncovering the truth. He articulated the discrepancies between ARO's marketing claims and the actual practices that underpin the brand, urging consumers to reconsider their choices. The backlash was swift and fierce. Megan's team scrambled to respond, issuing statements that attempted to reassure the public about the integrity of Aro's products. However, the damage was done. Consumers began to question not only the safety of Aro's jams, but also the broader implications of celebrity endorsements in the food industry. The juxtaposition of Megan's royal image with the allegations of negligence created a narrative that was difficult to overcome. Social media erupted with hashtags calling for accountability and demanding that ARO address the food safety violations head-on. The public's trust began to wane as more and more people shared their own experiences with the product, some citing adverse reactions and concerns about the ingredients. In the aftermath, food safety regulators took notice. Nacho's findings prompted an investigation into ARO's operations, focusing on compliance with food safety regulations. Regulatory bodies began to assess whether the brand had violated any laws regarding ingredient disclosure and safe production practices. This scrutiny intensified as traditional media outlets picked up the story, amplifying Nacho's voice and further fueling public interest. As the investigation unfolded, Megan found herself in a precarious position. The brand she had worked so hard to build was now at risk of collapse. In a bid to salvage Aro's reputation, she made a public appearance to address the situation directly. With poise and sincerity, she acknowledged the concerns raised by Nacho and the public, emphasizing her commitment to ethical practices and consumer safety. However, her words felt hollow to many, as trust had been breached and skepticism lingered. The fallout from Nacho's revelations extended beyond Aro. It sparked a broader conversation about food safety in celebrity-endorsed products. Consumers became increasingly aware of the potential disconnect between marketing narratives and the realities of production. This shift in perspective led to a surge in demand for transparency, with many people actively seeking out brands that prioritized ethical sourcing and rigorous safety standards. Nacho became a household name, hailed as a champion for consumer rights and food safety. As Aro struggled to regain its footing, Nacho continued to advocate for food safety, using his platform to educate consumers about their rights and the importance of questioning the brands they support. He launched a campaign encouraging people to report food safety violations, fostering a community of vigilant consumers who were no longer willing to accept complacency. His influence grew, as did the movement for accountability in the food industry. Megan's journey with ARO became a case study in the complexities of celebrity branding 
and the responsibilities that come with it. While she had initially aimed to empower consumers through her products, the revelations surrounding her brand served as a stark reminder that trust is easily shattered. The scrutiny surrounding ARO also prompted other celebrity brands to reevaluate their practices, leading to a ripple effect in the industry. In the end, Megan's experience underscored the importance of transparency and integrity in food production. Nacho's commitment to uncovering the truth not only changed the trajectory of ARO, but also ignited a movement that encouraged consumers to be more discerning about their food choices. As the story continues to unfold, it serves as a powerful reminder of the impact one individual can have in holding brands accountable, ultimately shaping a more responsible and informed marketplace. As the regulatory investigation into ARO gained momentum, the findings began to unfold with alarming implications for Meghan Markle's brand. Food safety regulators, prompted by Nacho's expose, initiated a comprehensive review of ARO's manufacturing processes, ingredient sourcing, and labeling practices. Their investigation aimed to determine whether the brand had adhered to established food safety regulations and whether the claims made in its marketing materials were substantiated. The investigation revealed several critical violations that raised serious concerns about the integrity of ARO's operations. First and foremost, regulators found discrepancies in the labeling of the gourmet jams. ARO had advertised its products as organic and locally sourced, but upon inspection, it became apparent that some ingredients were imported from overseas and did not meet organic certification standards. This misrepresentation not only misled consumers, but also constituted a violation of federal regulations governing food labeling. Additionally, the facilities where ARO's jams were produced were scrutinized. Inspectors identified several issues related to sanitation practices. There were reports of inadequate cleaning protocols, which potentially exposed the products to contamination. In particular, the investigation uncovered that certain production batches had not undergone the necessary testing for harmful bacteria, such as salmonella and E. coli, before being released to the market. These findings raised alarms about the safety of the jams, leading to immediate recalls of several product lines. The consequences for ARO were swift and severe. As regulatory agencies concluded their investigations, they issued a series of fines and penalties against the brand for its non-compliance with food safety regulations. The financial implications were staggering, with ARO facing hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines, which put additional strain on the company's already vulnerable financial position. This financial blow was compounded by the loss of consumer trust and the negative media attention surrounding the brand. In response to the findings, ARO was forced to implement a series of corrective measures. Megan's team announced a comprehensive overhaul of the brand's production processes, which included the establishment of a new quality control team dedicated to ensuring compliance with food safety regulations. ARO also pledged to enhance transparency by updating its labeling practices and providing clearer information about ingredient sourcing. They initiated partnerships with third-party organizations to conduct regular audits of their production facilities and supply chains, aiming to rebuild consumer confidence. Despite these efforts, the damage to ARO's reputation was profound. Consumers were left feeling misled, and many expressed their outrage on social media platforms, calling for boycotts of the brand. The once-celebrated image of Megan as a health-conscious advocate now stood in stark contrast to the allegations of negligence and dishonesty. Retailers began to pull ARO products from their shelves as the demand for transparency in food sourcing grew further exacerbating the brand's financial woes. The regulatory investigation and its findings also prompted a broader re-evaluation of celebrity-endorsed products within the food industry. Other brands began to take notice, recognizing the potential pitfalls of failing to adhere to strict food safety standards. The fallout from ARO's situation led to increased scrutiny of similar products, as consumers became more vigilant about the brands they supported. This shift in consumer behavior contributed to a larger movement advocating for accountability and ethical practices in the food industry, with Nacho emerging as a key figure in this ongoing.